Hi Hans, it's Sadie here and I'm back at you again with another video. If you haven't already noticed, I got a new little intro. Do you like it? It's so cute, right? Oh my god, I literally love it. How are we all doing? Do you like my hair as well? I've gone with like the mermaid vibes. Like Cleo, no, get out of the water. Don't touch the water, Cleo. I mean, that is the most unoriginal joke I have ever made, but it's true, I love it. We got another haul today because we are not getting around the fact that the weather is cold and I need new clothes. I cannot be out wearing shorts and stuff. It's honestly freezing in London at the moment. And try out Zaffle. Right, right, right. So I know I've tried out the bikinis. We've all seen that video, but I hope you've seen it. Um, it still freaks me out that like 200,000 people have seen my naked body, but whatever, it's out there. It is what it is. <laughs> and it's fine but I thought okay well let's try the clothes we like the bikinis we like the swimwear but what are the clothes saying what are they saying though so we're gonna try them out and see if they're just as good I have very high hopes the stuff that is on there is so trend led I will put all the prices up I do have a discount code it is Sadie XO 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 custom girl <laughs> and of course I will leave all the links below but yeah Sit back, relax, and watch me try on some clothes. Honestly, who needs got one? Who needs Trini and Susanna when you've got Sadie and a rail full of check, you know? I'm seeing a lot of sort of check preppy vibes, which I'm excited about. Let's just go into it. It's gonna, this video is gonna take me long, so I'm gonna try and not talk as much as I usually do, as I know a few of you have commented on that, which I don't appreciate, but everyone's entitled to their own opinion on YouTube, apparently. Okay, so the first thing is this, sorry, these are two things together, is this lovely check shirt. I've been seeing them everywhere. It's so easy to just throw on with things. It looks really cute. I got a large, fairly thin, definitely more of a shirt than a jacket, but that's what I wanted. I wanted like a layering piece. And then I'm going to style it with this little black skirt. So I thought this was cute because I love white tennis skirts, but I thought this was like a more wintry update because you could wear a black tights with a big sweater over. Um, it looks a little big for me. Some of these things I'm like, I don't know about sizing, so it'll probably be helpful for you to watch this if you're similar size to me and know what to order but yeah I got this in a large and I'm kind of thinking probably should have got it in a medium but it feels like nice quality I like the little pleats how bloody cute is that how nice it's I really love anything to do with angels that kind of aesthetic is on point so these little cherubs just a nice little crop top easy styling piece but it's just a bit more fun than a normal white crop top so let's pop this on together and hope this outfit snaps oh so this is the little angel top amazing i love this it's actually very fitted which is nice it makes it really cute easy crop top to wear i got it in a medium and yeah i just really really like how this fits and it was only five pounds which is unreal really great prices and like you can't see my bra i'm wearing a brown bra that's like it's like good good material you know ideal okay and then this is a skirt I am so gutted because it's just a little bit big for me. Can you see? Oh, it's just frustrating. I, I don't know. So basically, this is good to use me as a size reference. My On the bottom, I am a UK 12. UK 12, not American. I know I've got all my American babes on here. Hi, how are you? Love ya. So yeah, I will put in the description what my equivalent is in American sizes just to help you out. But yeah, I got this in a large. I definitely think it would fit more of like a size 14 to 16. But just imagine it like this, it would have popped off. And do you know what? It's got little shorts underneath, which is ideal because when you're like in London or walking around, the wind blows and then like you can't see anything, look. Amazing, I really like that design. It's so funny, it's literally like a school skirt. We spent half our life trying to get out of school uniform and then apparently half our life trying to get back into it. I just rolled the skirt up now. Oh my God, did you ever used to do that? I did all the time at school. I got told off on my uniform all the time. But this jacket, imagine the skirt was like shorter. I'm feeling the fantasy. This is how I wanna be for the rest of the season. Just cute, I love the like not neutral color. It's just gonna go with anything in your wardrobe. Can chuck it on with a little bralette, under coats. It just gives a nice layering and I just feel, it just gives that cool girl energy. Like I'm just so cool, I'm wearing my shirt off the shoulder. And it's kind of that boyfriend shirt vibe. But yeah, I really like this, it feels really nice. This is it on, I definitely wouldn't 
ever wear it like that so don't you what do you think of the first look guys i mean this is making me feel very very hopeful <laughs> next up we have this really cute argyle crop sweater in beige so this was nine pounds 70 again an absolute steal it feels a really nice knit like it feels soft but not thick it's a nice little lightweight number we like to see it. I love that it's like the geek chic vibes. I really, really am enjoying that whole trend at the moment. Ooh, cute. I love the crop because it just makes it a bit sexier rather than too geeky. I think it fits really well. Oh, I can't wait to wear this. I want to style this now. And also this with like big flared jeans, chunky boots. Mwah, mwah, chef's kiss beautiful a nice way to go into that sort of granddaddy trend but still being cute and sexy delicious this next piece i'm really excited to try it's like a sage green which that color just speaks to me little cinch sides sort of like tank style i'm always wanted to try one of these but i was just a bit nervous of whether they would suit me i got a large hopefully it's this dress this dress that is my shit right there that that is what that is my jam like look at it the stage oh 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 and this hair, it, it really goes with this hair. I love this a lot more than I thought. I don't know what, I don't know who lied to me and told me this kind of thing wouldn't suit my body because girl, it snaps. I think it's the ruching, the sort of cinching at the sides just makes it super, super flattering. Oh, it's like a big gold chain. I've just got it on with chunky boots, even with like a check shirt or a white shirt. I don't know, I just, this fits amazingly for 14 pounds. Zafu, you were coming through and surprising me. I feel powerful. It's it's quite powerful to be honest. Yeah, this with little a little white shirt over, divine, absolutely divine. On second thoughts, is actually is is perfection. I am I can't wait to wear this dress. I'm I'm obsessed. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm actually in love. There's loads of colours as well. So if green isn't your thing, don't worry about it, girl. Right, what are we doing next? oh let's do a little casual item so i just wanted some t-shirts for chilling in you know relaxing so i picked up this cute black oversized t-shirt it's got a gorgeous sun print on i think i got it in a large because i wanted it to be super oversized okay 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 gothic queen I don't know who I think I am. I don't know why I've suddenly turned into Jenny Humphrey and I'm going through a gothic phase, but this is cool, man. Like, cool, man. <laughs> Look at me saying, man. I've actually got a baggy t-shirt on. I'm like, this is cool, man. But yeah, I love the drop down sleeve. It's just so baggy. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just baggy clothes. You just look better. I don't know, like you hide everything, but you still look fashionable. I've just paired it with a little check skirt. You could always like tuck it like that, or even with um, cycling shorts. Again, just kept my boots on. Chunky boots are a necessity for autumn. I don't want to hear anything about it. I'm really loving this. It's giving me very Delaney Childs vibes. I don't know if any of you follow her, but she's unreal and i'm really into her style at the moment so this is definitely me trying to copy her and be as stunning as she is do i suit this aesthetic like this got this like rocker girl do i do i this is a massive trend this year unless you've been hiding under a rock you would have seen that people are now wearing sweater vests yes we're taking inspiration from granddad grandpapa he is now a fashion icon and I'm here for it. I never thought I would see the day where I'd wear something like this, but I think it can look super, super cool. It feels thick. It feels something like something you would pick up in Zara. Now let's just throw it on. 100%. This is going to be one of those trends that we look back in 10 years and go, what the hell were we wearing? But for now, I think it's a look. I think it's it's a vibey, all right? It's houndstooth or dogtooth. Just that, yeah, sort of argyle preppy check. What I like about these is I feel there's so many ways to style them. I've just popped it on with a little black skirt. See, this is what I mean. The black skirt really was going to do a bit, do bits for me. It was going to really be versatile. So if you order it, it's going to be great. Just get the right size. I love that this one is super baggy v-neck. Like it genuinely does it like you've borrowed your grandpa's vest. You could wear it with a roll neck, a t-shirt, you could wear it over like black leather jeans. It's just, it really is like the it piece of autumn, winter 20 and 
yeah, I really love it. I'm actually shook that you can buy stuff like this on Zaffle and it feels legit the exact same quality as the Zara one. So yeah, let, let me know what you guys think of this trend. Like, are you here for it? Is it a yay or is it a nay? This cohort is so lush. It's kind of like a Burberry check. So you have a little paper bag skirt square neck crop top i just thought that was so so cute and really versatile for like autumn transitional you can wear it with a coat over with a roll neck oh every time i put something on i'm like damn this is my fave but no 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 let, let don't get it twisted this is my favorite wow it's just the clueless energy the that film will forever be a source of my style. Like, look at this, damn, it's so cute. Um, I think I got it in a large, and to be fair, it feels a little small, like it's not too short, it's probably the perfect length. I must have got it in a medium because it's just going to there, but oh, it has a little belt you tie around and then little buttons. I love the top because you can adjust the strap so it kind of goes to whatever size you are and it doesn't show any cleavage or anything like that. Um, it has pockets that already gets a tick, tick, tick because it's just something about the comfort of putting your hands in your pocket. Like, I don't know why we're obsessed with it, but it feels good. And it's, it's, it's useful, you know? It is useful. Yeah, also this top um, would also go so cute with jeans or a black skirt. Same with the skirt with a white roll neck. So... The good thing about curls is you can wear them so many different ways. Like I am actually in love. I keep saying that about everything. Zaffles are really pulling through. Is it really coat season? Is it? Because that scares me, but it, but it technically is. So if it's gonna be that time of year, we need to at least look fly and this jacket. Wow. I love the color because lilac, it just makes me feel still bright and nice, but the nude running through also makes it appropriate for this season. It's like a little shacket. It actually feels good, like nice like material, but not too heavy, especially if you're wearing jumpers and stuff. I feel like you don't always want a really heavy coat especially when you live in a city so yeah can't wait to put this on i wouldn't necessarily wear it over this set but oh it's so nice so cute it definitely needs a little steam but i'm sure once it's been hung up for a while it's obviously been in a packet so yeah cute i love this color and this shape i just find it so flattering i'm really really glad that i ended up going with a large because i thought like you could wear it with over the knee boots and it almost looks like a dress jacket thing oh so nice and i do feel quite warm in it actually you know i really thought this video was going to be tea like oh zaffle because i feel like it does get a lot of bad press these websites but i am continuously impressed with how their clothes are oh lilac honestly it's just stunning right <laughs> I'll show you it from the back, like it's long so it covers your bum, so definitely gives off that kind of oversized dress vibe. I love the massive pockets. Why did I say the weirdest way? Pockets. Pockets. Like proper cockney. Like I haven't lived in under that long. Jesus. First coat of the season. Let's go. <laughs> jeans are a very hard thing to get right, especially cheaper jeans. You just always feel like they're not going to be good. So these were $18.55. So yeah, about like around Primark prices if you're thinking in England terms but they're just these straight leg boyfriend jeans and I love this little check detail in the pocket I just thought it added something different I have a lot of jeans so I need my new ones to be a little bit jazzy we like a little bit of jazz in our life so I got these in a large so yeah it's a light wash let's just I don't know see this could be the turning point for Zaffle right if I'm being completely honest I don't really know how I feel about the jeans I don't know if I am vibing with them like they're a, a considered a large like it's so weird because the skirt was a large and it was literally hanging off me these are a large I'm not gonna lie, they're a little bit a little bit snug a little bit snug can you see i mean they do fit the waist the waist is kind of snatched in these not gonna lie and like they don't do that gappy thing at the back which is ideal i just i don't know i think it's the length like they're kind of short and that's hard to do with me because I am five foot three, I am sure. So I don't know. Are these nice? I'm asking you guys. Like, I do like the little pocket thing and the, the wash is pretty. With a little crop top, trainers, like, you can't really go wrong. Are they my favourite jeans in the world? No, but I will give Zaffle props that they're also not the worst jeans in the world. The denim feels nice. The colour looks good. The fit, the fit of the waist is insane. I think it's just the length that's 
throwing me off a bit, but overall, yeah, like a good pair of jeans. Well done, Zaffel. I've also wanted one of these sort of studded belts for a while, but everywhere I was looking, they were a bit expensive, whereas this one was only 540. Just think it's a really great piece to style things with. Like if you had a dress, it's just gonna break it up and give you that like rocky vibe. They'd also look nice on these jeans. So yeah, really cool. Yeah, that is really sick. I like that. Just a cute little styling piece. I find places like Zaffel are great for accessories. <gasps> oh. I actually got the in, yeah. I actually got these earrings. How insane. It's like a little line drawing of a woman's face. Just thought that was so special and pretty and different. The earrings are literally three pounds and they feel good. Really nice. I really like them. Definitely gonna wear them all the time. Then keeping in with the preppy vibe, I got this green check skirt. It's got a little silver belt, just thought it was nice. Just from looking at it, I can tell it's gonna be too big, which is frustrating. I should have just got everything in a medium, but I'll try it on for you anyway. Now I'm telling you right now, if this skirt fit me, it would have been over for you bitches. This is insane, I love it, but yeah, it, I just, as we all expected, it's a little bit big. I should have just got a medium, I know that now. And next time I order on Zaffle, I will get a medium, but this whole sort of cute school vibe with like a cute little crop top is exactly what I wanna be wearing. It's really lightweight and also, it's not too short, like you're not gonna flash anyone, which is ideal. It has this really cute little buckle, which just adds a nice touch, so it's not just like a plain skirt, and it's definitely more like a tailored material. Oh, oh, is it meant to have a split? But yeah, really sad that it doesn't fit me. I will probably give it to one of my friends, so it will definitely get use. But yeah, this outfit is cute. This with a chunky jumper and boots would have been a1 well it will be a1 i'm probably gonna reorder i'm gonna reorder i just picked up another one of these big tees because i think you can never have too many right this one i really like the print it's like this cool car design it says thunder club don't really know what that means can't even drive but i think i could rock it just gonna pop this on over here i've got it in a large because i want it to be super big i feel so free when i wear baggy clothes like Oh, the comfort level is at 100 right now. And it just looks good, it looks sick. Like, again, the same, it's got the drop sleeve and then the big pattern on top. I would style with denim or cycling shorts or like this with a little skirt peeking out underneath and a big boot. It's just kind of, I find it sexy because you're not showing everything. It's kind of like, what has she got under there? And especially if you feel a little bit insecure about your body, things like this just make you look smaller because they are so, so big. But yeah, I'm really, if you can't tell, feeling this at the moment. And you can wear it in the winter with like a black roll neck underneath. That is definitely a really cool style. Love it, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Another cute casual piece. I love a big oversized sweater. Just honestly, because I work from home now around the house, these make you look like you put together, but you're still comfy. They have loads of th these, but I don't have a navy one. So I gravitate towards this and it says like California, West Coast, California. Eh? I will be honest. They don't feel like thick sweaters. To me, it just feels a bit thicker than a t-shirt, more like a jersey material, which is fine, especially because I'll be wearing it around the house. And if anything, I kind of like it more for the fashion than for warmth, but it's just something to know. Cute. This is exactly how I would wear it, just with a little tennis skirt. You can wear it as well with denim, literally over anything, joggers. You just need a sweat in your life. Like I would say it's definitely an essential piece, just easy and these sort of like state ones are really nice. I mean, people in America don't wear ones that say like scum for upon, do they? That's not a thing. So why is English people so obsessed with wearing American ones? I guess we would wear like a London one or a Manchester one. I don't know, it's kind of odd though, like, American people, do you find it odd that we're obsessed with wearing your states across our bodies? Is that weird? I really like the colour as well, it's like, navy again is such a preppy colour, I just feel like it signifies school in some way, like, do I look like, does this look like a PK or something, I don't know. It feels really soft and nice, can't really go wrong to be honest. Last but not least, just because I'm obsessed with this trend so much, I actually picked up another sweater vest, but just in a plain v-neck cream. I thought that would be even easier to style than the other one, especially if you want to wear patterns underneath. I don't know, they're kind of frumpy, but also kind of like the cutest thing I've ever seen. 
it's just one of those Marmite trends, you're either going to love it or hate it. It looks like I'm going to school. It literally looks like you're about to steal my lunch money, doesn't it? Like, I'm like, oh, please, please don't take my money. <laughs> or, like, you'd be bothering me to do your homework. It, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I never thought I'd be wearing this, but here I am. Really cute. Adore. Adore, to be honest. I don't care what anyone says. I think I look good. And that is all that matters in life, okay, huns? What do you think of yourself? <laughs> but yeah, again, it feels like a nice knit material. Sorry, I feel like the people across the road can see me again. Hi, do you want something? Take a picture, it'll last longer. And yeah, I would just pop it on with a little skirt. I definitely feel like legs out for this as it would make it a balance, make it a bit sexier rather than too frumpy. But yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Is this a trend you're going to be rocking or what? That is all from me, babes. I really hope you enjoyed the haul. It's safe to say I love Saffo. I will always be ordering from them because I just think their stuff is so cool. They really get it right. And I am impressed and quite shocked at how good the quality is. You, If you want to try it out, of course, don't forget you can use my discount code at SadieXO. And yeah, have a great week. Let me know what you think of all the trends. What is your favorite outfit? Are you going to be getting anything? And also, what brand should I do next? <laughs>